Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Chimera Squad. My name is Saigon and today we're playing a round of impossible Iron Man Hardcore Chimera Squad. Hardest difficulty one safe and uh, only um, one chance to get everything right, elsewise uh, the game is going to be over. We're having a search uh, today in our hopes to get a bit Elarium and reduce the unrest. We're using a technique uh, where I am trying to stall out the game and play a bit with the cooldowns uh, just uh, to yeah, essentially um, uh, rank up our soldiers, our operatives a little bit more. So let's see how that is going to play out. Um, we do have a mission today with only one projective encounter as well, so it's not going to be a super long one. Uh, but it is going to be an interesting one nonetheless. Uh, Blue Blood Cheer Up uh, Terminal from the main group and uh, we are seeing support from Shelter who definitely needs a medkit and yep that's it. Uh, you're not getting more than that. Um, yeah so we should be ready to go. Uh, let's jump right into the mission guys. Hostiles defending the target device. Cool, time for some breaching. Last unit through this entrance does three extra damage um, uh, during the breach. Okay, well, that's easy enough. We're going in with cheer up, uh, phalanxing everyone. Terminal is second. Uh, we're going to have shelter third and blue blood last. Let's go. So let's take a look at what we're fighting against. We only have one enemy who could actually uh, attack us, an Arcolite. We got a Thrall over here. We got a Bruiser over there. We got a Resonant over there. A trooper and a Hitman. Well, to be honest, it's really not that threatening. Might as well start with the Arcolite. We don't need any um, phalanx here. I mean, it's a 50 50. Yep, he's already down. I like to get the Hitman if possible. How difficult is it to hit him? Thrall, Bruiser, Resonant. Trooper, Hitman, yeah 72% that's good enough for me. Hitmans are usually a pain in the rear. Trooper, Hitman, let's get him. Holy shit, 7 points of damage, that's good. If you select the right targets in the breach phase, everything else is so much easier afterwards. There's our target. Break it apart. All right, destroy the pylon to stop the reinforcements. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good, let's give a kinetic shield over to terminal. Let's make sure blue blood can act right away. And we could knock down the thrall. 72% chance to definitely kill him is, in my opinion, superior to a uh, 100% chance to not knock him down. We're still in cover. I don't mind. We're okay. The thrall is not a big deal. Could position over ourselves over here and hit two. That's an option. Yeah, but we could also simply hit our target. Oh, yeah. We're going to hit our target. 
Think fast. <laughs> All right, reinforcements are being dealt with. We're now taking some damage. That was into half cover, by the way. He's still in half cover, even if he's standing in the open. These two here will be dying very soon. So let's uh, give cooperation over to Blue Blood. Well, maybe. Did I? Oh, wow. Instead of giving it over to Blue Blood, I gave it over to Cheer Up. That is, uh, by the way, a little point of criticism. The circle is not always fully clear. Whatever, we're going to Kinetic Shield. It's not the end of the world. This trooper here is going to die. Might as well hit the Brute and kill it. There we go. Trooper is going to go down. Let us switch the resonant and push him down. Good job. We're now flanking the throw. Of course, our flank shot deals uh, deals exactly one point of damage. <laughs> sure, um, that's fine. Whatever. We're giving everyone a kinetic shield. And this here will take out the thrall. Locking down. Gotcha. <laughs> He's shot into the wall. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys the null lens beforehand, but boy, boy, there is no one left over. I might as well still null lens just for the. Lols. Light it up. That wasn't even a fair encounter. Yeah, we're just going to heal shelter. And by the way, next round shelter has a uh, shield and then everyone has a shield. Moving him over here into the open. And let's say thank you. There we go. <laughs> well, I feel bad for you guys because I'm always thinking, okay, this is going to be a long mission. Then we come into the room and just curb stomp uh, the enemies. The only thing that I could have actually done better is I could have uh, captured the last guy. Um, and made it a bit closer so that we get the extra intel out of it. That was just from a playing perspective suboptimal. Uh, the rest of uh, the fight was not really an even fight. I mean, they had no offense that they could uh, use. And I didn't even use consumables. Yeah, we did not get the extra intel. Too bad. But we got a promotion. So, he got Soul Fire Shelter launches a psionic blast into an organic enemy, dealing the next, uh, delaying the next turn, uh, does guaranteed damage and ignores cover, uh, two to her and cooldown, which is good. It's essentially the ability uh, that uh, the adepts of the enemy are using. I like cover ignoring, uh, that's good. Um, the only thing that I don't like about him and that ability is, um, yes, the best part about it is probably the delay in, uh, in initiative. It's not just the dealing damage piece because he has a gun and his gun skills are 
pretty okay with uh, 72 aim. He doesn't necessarily need psionic damage, so that would be my only uh, point of contention with it. If we look at the map again, we are seeing that we could continue this mission or do any of our other uh, missions. <sighs> and as much as I like to get Elerium, You know what, I think we're still getting the Elerium here. It makes sense. This here will create a bit of anarchy. That's fine. We very soon will be able to reduce it with Vigilance again. So I'm okay with it for the time being. Got ourselves some more rewards. Excuse me? You find me unsettling. Uh, I do now. Ah. Man, you have the weirdest jokes. Good. We're now forced to take the mission, so the strategy of delaying it works for a certain period, but at some point the game actually just cuts off all of the other missions. It forces you to do the storyline mission. Which is interesting, I think that's the concept of making sure that you are not abusing the mechanic uh, too much. I'm okay with it, like I said, I I don't think that it is such a big deal. And you know what, since we're only 10 minutes in the actual mission, might as well just do a double uh, mission today. So we're looking into uh, this uh, storyline mission, CC uh, Psionic Tech, uh, and this is going to be a longer uh, one, finally. Uh, let's see about our equipment. I think the equipment is overall sound. I think the equipment is overall pretty much okay. Um, having blue blood on board will give us enough damage to go through most of the encounters. Uh, cheer up and terminal uh, will be enough, um, enough healing and protection and shelter will do the CC. So we should be actually fine. Let's uh, launch the mission and get to it. I figured I can't just upload eight minute YouTube videos with a single mission, uh, curb stomping everything. Might as well actually need to have a decently difficult uh, mission. Cover it. Expect minimal resistance. All right, so we got an ice sail club. Explosive entrance. All non-aggressive enemies are surprised. That's good. Last unit does three damage. That's um, also good. But we're losing one theoretically shooting enemy. All units uh, gain plus 50 dodge for one round. That is, in my opinion, still better because uh, the three damage uh, requires the sacrifice of a single unit. And there is just no one who is going to challenge us here. So might as well take our usual formation and a breach. Let's see what this nightclub is all about. They're having a party without us. That shall not be allowed. A thrall, an Archolite, which is our first target, a Brute, a Sorcerer, and a Resonant. We probably should go for the Resonant as well. Just so we can deal with him fast. But let's uh, do the first things first. Definitely going for the Arco Arcolite. Who's down. Uh, that's a 76 and that's a 90% shot. The... Resonant himself doesn't really do anything, so let's focus on the Sorcerer. We set her nicely up for uh, for the next round. The Brute is unfortunately not optimally positioned there, to be honest. Are the best clubs run by the worst people. 
but what we can do is we can definitely shield blue blood and then just take a shot i think that's fair blue blood is very exposed i don't want him to take a shot from the brood The sorceress is at position 6, so she won't act anytime soon. Might as well take out the frog, which failed miserably. Well, now the sorceress has sacrificial lamb. So next damage on the sorceress will be redirected to the thrall. And over an action to um, to blue blood. Let's try to kick the brute. That way we take it out of the initiative order. Oh nice, it moved even closer. That's good. There we go. Good, we're getting into full cover, pushing the resonant back. And this will not kill the sorceress, but it will hopefully delay her. Well, apparently the Thrall-like uh, status is not even delaying her. I was hoping that she would be delayed, but that's not the case. Psydomain uh, buffs her ability. But that doesn't mean much uh, when she is unconscious. Let's just soften him up. I don't want to get him down yet because I want to heal before we end this uh, room. All right, overwatching. We are healing, and that should be the first room. Pretty safe and secure. We got two captured enemies. Time for us to get a third one. There we go. Three captured enemies, so that's a 60% chance for extra intel. You're approaching the dance floor. There's not a lot of cover, so prepare to get down. I'm sorry. Could you say that again? I said prepare to get the... Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> ah, these punchlines. Few aggressive enemies versus last unit is marked. We don't want to be marked, so we're going to go through this entrance. Marked is really bad. Uh, it just means you're getting hit way more often. All right, breaching in. Oh boy, an Archon. That's not good news. Archolite, it's not good news either. Oh, <laughs> Codex, that's bad news. All right, first target, Codex. Grazing shot. Not exactly what you want to see with a Codex want to see is a big fat hit for six points of damage. There you go, that's what you want to see. All right, most important enemy is down. Could deal with the Archon. 
It's a resonant. I think we're going for the Arcolite. Nice little critical hit. That's good. I think an overall fairly decent first turn. Okay, it's only the second encounter, so we gotta get our uh, our stuff together. The Arcolite definitely needs to die. Let's pin down the Archon so that, that he is acting way later. First action. Second action is a precaution, uh, precautious measure. In case we're not successful with killing the Archolite, I don't want it to use its um, Psylance because uh, we got the buff from the Resonant. And that would deal four points of damage. And that is a big fat no thank you from my side. A silver shade appears. Blue Blood definitely takes the kinetic shield. There we go. You know, I mean, the Archon will use uh, Burnout. I don't like that. But I don't think that we have enough firepower to kill it. Well, we could. I do have an idea how. Gotta set him up uh, first, though. Okay, so let's shift the Archon even further down. Good, we have full cover against all of these scrubs here. Only one who is annoying is the resonant right there. We could position ourselves here, to be honest. Uh, that would be covered from all sides. It's probably not the worst idea. But. Ah, uh, we could shift the brood even further down. I like that idea. Let's do this. Nice damage, by the way. Alright, the sorceress might use her null lens or tyranny. That's an extra turn. Not the worst. I mean, she could have used it on a much, much worse, uh, much, much um, more impactful unit. All right, let's kill the Archon here. Taking the 100% chance instead of uh, the 80% chance. Oh, plus we got Ever Vigilant, which is an extra bonus attack. So it was actually a very clever move. When possible, um, I should always remember to move him first before, um, or move him second and um, kill, or make someone unconscious with a second move. Specifically, if he gets uh, ever vigilant on top of that.
You know what? I'm not going to give it to Blue Blood. It's only a 50 50 chance with most of the shots. I don't like that. Yeah, we're still going to give it to Blue Blood. I didn't want it because I didn't want to interrupt the Overwatch. Now Overwatch is gone. Seventy-five percent is pretty damn good. I mean, it's not the most flashy play, the hammer. but it's a sure take uh, take out in in a full cover position. Moving into another full cover position. Let us relocate the resonant. Shifting him ever so slightly. Uh, back in the initiative order and might as well start hitting him. Fortunately that doesn't really work out. We're not going to get the extra reward but I'm fine with that. I could have also moved there and just taken it. Yeah we gotta deal with a thrall here. Yep, that's one down. Heads up. And setting up the Sorcerer. Terminal heals herself. She's still flanked by the Sorcerer. But what she can do is... She could get into full cover. Start making sure that she's um, well prepared. Kinetic shield onto her. And let's take out the sorcerer. Nice little unconscious. Yeah, I think we can. Yeah, we might as well use Soul Fire here. Um, we can simply get him down because I can heal uh, with my drone in between the rounds. Perfect, that's another unconscious. We were definitely at the plus 20 bonus intel. Perfect. Enemy steal minus one uh, less damage during the breach. That's fine. We're still getting chair up first. Uh, then terminal. Terminal is going to heal everyone. Shelter and blue blood. Here we go. In. Now everyone's filled up again. And that's the last fight. So we got a thrall here. An archon. Oh, a codex. Hell no, we don't want a codex. And you know what? 
I'm willing to take a shot just to kill the codex, so we're going to use all our available shots to get rid of the codex, no matter the cost. A little bit unlucky with our shots, but we can still kill it. There we go. Definitely worth it. Even if that would have been a hit, I definitely don't want to deal with Codex. That's the contraband. Grab it and get out. Okay. We most certainly can do that. Uh, before we do anything, how about we are giving Blue Blood an extra move. Oh, and I can see opportunities here. I can definitely see opportunities here. Chirrup takes a kinetic shield himself this time. Shredding and dealing damage. Love it. Oh, face lance is unfortunately not available. I was already hoping that we could just shoot through three targets here. That would have been so damn good. Archolite is on the ground. I still would want to go and get him, to be honest. 50-50. Yeah, worth it, even uh, though we didn't be, uh, we weren't use, uh, able to use our second ability. Don't need to heal immediately. I'd much rather like to push the Archon just a tiny bit further down. Yeah, let's get a go with the Thrall next. Wanted to reduce the number of enemies on the field. Didn't really work out. Relocating the Archon and pushing him even further back in the initiative order. Yeah, the Resonant is not yet dead. Oh, maybe he takes two points of poison damage. That would be cool. Well, she just killed her, her own buddy. That was an incredibly stupid move. Protected from all angles. We got reinforcements incoming next round. Can't deal with the Archon yet, so might as well take out the Thrall. Reducing profile. The Archon probably will use Burnout. Yep. Alright, moving Blue Blood over here. Let's hit the Archon. Giving another action over to Blue Blood. To hopefully kill the Archon and finish 
and finish this whole uh, burnout dilemma. Very nice. Good. Burnout done. Shelter will go in and acquire the Augmenter. Moving over here. Stay close, okay? And let's get the sorceress um, down here so that we can grab the target. The brute continues being poisoned and will eventually die. There are the nasty reinforcements. Which might be the point where the game again decides to to crash. If we can't fix the reinforcements, I feel like um, this entire run will be a bit skewed. Because reinforcements are an important mechanic. And I remember playing this very mission um, thinking, you know what, the reinforcements here are actually pretty well balanced because they keep you busy but you can still somewhat progress without reinforcements. This is going to be a pushover again. And I feel somewhat cheated by the game that it takes away that bit of challenge because the mission itself wasn't that challenging so far. And I wanted to give you guys a, a little bit of um, a strategy how to deal with the reinforcements. I'll give it a couple more seconds whilst I'm talking how I would deal with the reinforcements so that you get an idea once you are in the situation how you would deal it, uh, with it yourself. So the reinforcements are really just um, huddling into the, in, in this small area. There are multiple ways of dealing with it. AoE damage definitely works pretty well, uh, to be honest. Um, but there is also not enough cover. They are not always huddling over here. Often they are just standing here at the wall. So what you could do is just camp at the entrance, um, do, overwatch, uh, do overwatch regularly, and just hit them and kill them. I regularly kill two out of three of the reinforcements just when they arrived and could clean up the others quite easily. Um, what I would do on top of it is shelter just grabs the target and teleports uh, back to the entrance. Done deal. It's really not that difficult. Um, I'll restart the game and we finish the mission. All right, I just restarted and you wouldn't believe it, guys, but there had been a, just the moment when I restarted there had been a Steam emergency patch uh, for the game, apparently fixing that very issue. Who would have thought? Well, well done, Steam. I congratulate you to fixing the issue right away. That was good. Good, we can play with reinforcements, so I do no longer feel um, stripped of uh, the opportunity to properly deal with the enemies here. Definitely want to deal with the sorceress relatively soon. Turtling. Very nice. By the way, look at this here, guys. Um, That is an incredible chance to hit three. <laughs> Could the game be less of a prick, please? And just allow me to hit three. Well, it can't. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we got an Arcolite here. I at least want to have the chance to take this guy out. Yep, worked like a charm. And we want to take out those two. The brood will 
eventually die from poison anyways. There we go. Okay, Blue Blood is cleaning house. That's just incredibly good. Terminal heals herself. Almost everyone has shields now. Let's get that thrall down. And we are moving over here. Taking what's rightfully ours. And since we're anyways here, how about we are relocating? Right over here, pushing him down further. Um, you know, can almost get out of here. Let's just overwatch into this direction. The reinforcements are never directly shooting, so might as well end his turn. All right, blue blood, same deal. I need a better angle. Moving over here. Yeah, I can't fully reach uh, that side. Might as well take an overwatch over here. The brood is almost down. Thanks to our kinetic shield, nothing is happening. This thing is nearly empty. I wish we could use cooperation already. It's unfortunately not the case. Because with cooperation we could basically get um, him out of here already. Can we heal someone? No, we can't. Might as well do an overwatch and hope that we hit something. Azure fades into silver. All right, that's one down. And another one down. Shelter can theoretically move pretty far. You know what we can do? It's a bit of a cheesy move, but we could move up to here and then relocate ourselves with uh, Chira. And that allows us to one, two, three, and cheer up is definitely in uh, range of leaving the field, uh, battlefield as well. Good. Perfect. I'm happy that we could fix uh, the reinforcements because it would have sucked if uh, that feature wouldn't be available. <clears throat> 25 enemies, 9 capture, 20 extra intel. 
What a nice mission. Good, 20 intel, 35 crit, uh, credits, and we got three less unrest. We're still not done with the progeny, so there are a couple of things happening here. We're doing the promotion in a second. Why do we have enhanced SMGs? Oh. Oh, that already finished. Well, that's good. Um, and we got payday, so that's the reason why we have so many credits. And the assembly is complete. So we got to do another assembly. Enhanced assault rifles is um, probably the next uh, big thing. Good, we got a promotion and I didn't want uh, the uh, the advertisement in the background because now we can make another selection. So, <clears throat> uh, her second selection, uh, terminal second selection, is uh, either armor systems, upgrade safeguard to provide one armor for the protected unit, or terminal heals up uh, to full at the end of every encounter. I personally like... Uh, the extra armor and, and let me explain why both resilience and sustain are incredibly good abilities to to just regain hit points but in my experience <clears throat> with the encounters if you're playing an encounter right you never have the problem to not be full of, uh, full of hit points or almost full of hit points at the end. And she already has an ability for the next breach to allow you to heal up. However, plus one armor for protected unit is a lot. You can put protected unit and essentially make it much more tanky. Mind you, armor um, uh, is incredibly valuable when you're being hit often. So those frontline units... Uh, you can stack up armor quite well. Cheer up uh, with uh, this here in a, um, in, a in a defensive position can have three armor, which means he doesn't give a damn about anything that hits him really. He just absorbs all of that. So really helpful ability. Um, I'm still convinced that that's a great ability. I was on the edge between sustain and and the pin down function and I must say pin down almost convinced me more because messing with the initiative is good but from my perspective this year is just an ability if you played badly uh, this is an ability that kind of <clears throat> compensates for mistakes that you've made uh, likewise this ability this ability here allows you to not even make a mistake in the first place I I think I'm pretty clear um, on what the better ability is there um are we waiting for additional credits or are we going for increased smgs hmm. i mean the extra hit points and the one additional utility slot is undeniably very strong unfortunately there's no option to sell something so you really got to deal with the credits that you do have the tallest building in old town from there they have a view of the entire city they're assembling a strange device up there. This must be their end game. Yeah, we don't want to go for the progeny yet. Matter of fact, this is probably our next mission. And we would get an armor mod, and that's about it. What would we get up here? Yeah, yeah, we're probably going to go uh, through this mission, but it means we're <clears throat> not getting any additional credits, not anytime soon. So I'm almost thinking 
whether or not it's worthwhile upgrading submachine guns. We got two submachine gun users in our um, in our team, so that's not a bad idea. On the other hand, an armor upgrade is definitely an, a welcome uh, change. I think we're saving for the armor upgrade. We're so close to it, I would probably be unhappy about myself not uh, taking it. And our next mission will be in the fringe. It essentially prevents four unrest right away. Plus the reward is better. Uh, plated uh, vest as an armor mod is good. Gives you plus one hit point. Good. Which raises the question about the training. So Verge has all of the training that he needs. Terminal could go for a utility slot. So that's not a bad training to begin with. I mean, it would take some time and we wouldn't have a healer, but um, we would uh, gain an additional uh, slot. We could do that once we have our armor upgraded, just makes it even safer. Mobility plus two on cheer up is good. I'm almost inclined to take that. Alternatively, we're taking blue blood. Hmm. You know what? Let's take cheer up. And that will be our force for now. All right, and that brings us to the end of today's mission. It was a double episode and a little bit longer. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed what you've seen and have any comments um, or want to simply like the video, then be my guest. The like button uh, is a very friendly button. You can hit it uh, mildly and it helps the channel. It's a good thing. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next run. Bye-bye.